morning everybody hello we arrived in amsterdam we did it is uh, 10 o'clock 11 o'clock it's 11 o'clock um mm -hmm. i think it's like only like two o two o'clock yeah it's like two o'clock in the u.s or in california yes two, right. two a.m in yeah, California. but we're professional jet laggers, so we can handle it. Yeah, you know it. We just checked in at our hotel. It's called the Art Hotel. Beautiful hotel. Yes, we did a room tour. Check it out right now. Come on in. This is the Art Hotel here in Amsterdam. This is pretty fairly close to the Amsterdam Central train station. Check out our room. There's a couple of big closets here. Look. Nice plush bathrobes. And some, slippers. Yeah, some slippers, which is pretty cool. Check out the bathroom. Or if you come here a little bit drunk, you're going to get confused. <laughs> this is the uh, shower. Pretty good size. Oh, it's a nice size shower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, the toilet is in here. And behind you is... Uh, the sink counter and it's got all the uh, little amenities and come on over here we have a in-room refrigerator if i could figure out how to open it and the other side there you go yeah there we go there's a fridge and we have a illy coffee maker which is nice safe, safe. yes so we have all these cool things in these cubbies here Pretty big TV, I'd say yeah. at least a 55 inch. It has my name on there. Yes. This is a king size bed. Mm -hmm. You gotta love that. Right I don't over know, the bed. This little rated R kind of artwork. Uh, it's little, just a dog and a man, baby. Yeah, a little Marshall thing for your uh, clock radio. Is this a closet? It could be. Really nope, sure. it's not. Just uh, a wall. A little uh, table with some books there. You gotta love the European design of this phone. Look at that. Nice. And our view. And the like some major thing. construction, but if you look over yeah. to the right, you can see one of the canals over there. Yep. Right over there. Yep. So that's our room here in Amsterdam at the Art Hotel. Nice Not, room. Yeah, pretty good room. We got the AC on right now. So we're gonna put everything away, relax a little bit, and go explore. So yeah, very cool room. Yeah, and I think it was a uh, after tax and everything. I think it was only about a hundred, hundred fifty, hundred thirty, something like that a night. Yeah, well, this is rated a five star hotel. It is. So that's why it's a little bit pricey, and it is also close to the main train station. And we have a scenic art view. That's right. Which is the train station. Yeah, and of the, the construction across yeah. the street. Yeah. So uh, we made an appointment to get our uh, COVID test. test, rapid test, mm -hmm. so we could go back to the U.S. Right. So we're going to go try to check that out right now. Yeah, and, and, then, done. and here, not like in Paris, you can find free pharmacies here. You have to pay for them. Yes, and not mm -hmm. all pharmacies do it, so you right. have to find it online. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll see how it works out. Yeah, we found one close. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Check it out. All right. Our hotel is on this side. Yes, that one. And the train station is on this side. That whole big thing is a train station. Yeah. Yep. All cool, right. Cool buildings down there. We'll go see them later. You know you just arrived in Amsterdam when you see signs like this at the local cafe. We just got our little COVID test done. Mm -hmm. Corona snail check, which is right behind us. Yes, I'll, I'll put the address in the video description. Mm -hmm. the, for more we found, it's the closest one to the main trade station. Mm -hmm. So it's about maybe 10 minute walk or mm -hmm. so, which isn't too bad. And you have to make an appointment. Yes, you can do it online, but they have so many times available. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, it was like 110 euros for, for both, both of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not cheap. No. That's what it is. It's a, a, a test if you're if you're negative, you get a text, 15, 20 minutes or something like that. Yes. And the travel document within four hours in the email. Right. And if you do test positive, they will call you. Yeah, they will. <laughs> yeah. So uh, now we're just going to explore. Yeah. Go walk around. Yep.
because the hard part's done. Yeah. Now time to party. Mm -hmm. Found a little cookie store. That is candy. so cute. Yeah, look at all this. Yeah, yeah. We just had to stop at that place. We did. We're having dessert before our meal. We sure. have to. What, what did we so, get? We have the like macaroon with chocolate and a salted caramel and a macadamia nut. I let her pick, um, Bill picked out these two cookies. And yeah, I let the her one pick. I showed you in the window. And it's all freshly made. It smells amazing in there. Yeah, that's the one thing that we used to do a long time ago. We used to just walk by a place and go, oh, that looks really good. And, and we never, but then we never go back. Right, right. So now we said, hey, you know what? We are gonna stop anytime anything looks good. So mm -hmm. check this out. Oh yeah, this like 10 times better than C's candy. No dish, we like C's candy, but this is pretty amazing. Mm, wow. Chocolate, little sweet chew to this, uh, is that oatmeal mm -hmm. on it? But it's got different like layers. A, it's like a toffee. Yeah, it's like a toffee flavor. And it's got several toffee. layers on it. Not extremely sweet, super mm. chewy though. Wow. That's some good stuff. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's a good pick. Mm -hmm. What is this one? Salted caramel. Oh, a soft caramel. Mmm, that caramel is buttery. It's extremely soft. Caramel is buttery. The chocolate's really smooth. Semi sweet. So, not sweet, it matches perfectly with that caramel. Mm. Oh wow. It's hard to beat these little neighborhood candy makers, it you is. know. This is for him. Oh, thank you. There you go, babe. Mmm. Found the lunch spot. Mm -hmm. small, little, small little cafe right outside, right in view of the canal. It is Van Zuylen. Yes. They have a lot of outdoor seating here right mm -hmm. over the canal mm -hmm. and indoor seating as well. They do. So we got a few little things. Mm -hmm. I'm excited, baby. Yes. Mm -hmm. We just came across it yeah. just walking around. Yep, yeah, we did. First beer. Mm -hmm. We got some grilled because that's what they're advertising yep. at this cafe. We gotta do it. Pearls. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty good, that's huh? A really good one. I got a smoked salmon sandwich. Look at all that stuff in there. So it's capers, it has cucumber, pickles, onion. It looks really good with a, a dill sauce. I'm gonna put that onion right on top. Let's have a bite. Oh, Delicious. The bread is very thin. The dill is really good. The salmon is fresh. Mm. Kind of similar. The tube with so smoked salmon on a bagel, but this bread is a little bit more thin. This is a super easy little sandwich lunch here. Not gonna fill me up at all, which is perfect, so we can have a really good dinner. We got an order of bitter balling to share. We fell in love with these the last couple times we came to Amsterdam. They're like deep fried balls of like 
I guess closest is kind of beef stroganoff type of filling. There's one open that we cracked open right here. And it's a good idea to open it up because these things could be hot. So they give you a little mustard. Let's try it out. Hot. <laughs> yeah, still very hot. Great tasting. It has that slightly beef gravy taste to the middle. Super crunchy on the outside. These are like uh, very popular snacks here in Holland. So, yeah, I love these things. For my lunch, I ordered the BLT. I'm not used to the way this looks. In the, in the American BLT, that's what I had in my mind and they brought this out. I was like, whoa, what is this? You could tell it has some type of, not really Canadian bacon, but it's not definitely not strips of bacon like like American stuff bacon. Of course, the tomato, lettuce, super fresh. Interesting. The same type of bread that you have for the salmon. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's, let's try this out. It's a good bite right here in the corner. Not bad at all. It does have the regular bacon flavor to it, even though the 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 style of bacon here is not what we used to. Lettuce, nice and crispy, tomatoes. It has their version of some kind of mayo in it. Overall, great sandwich. The bread is a little bit salty, kind of bread to it. So everything matches perfectly. The bread reminds me of a bagel thing. Those are what they're called. Mm -hmm. At home, my baby. Yeah, look at that. It's delicious. Here we go. Crunchy on the outside. The inside has like a mashed potato consistency, has great flavor on the inside. Mustard is just a regular mustard, yellow mustard, but regular yellow mustard. It matches these bitter bones perfectly. So imagine the consistency of mashed potatoes, but they taste like beef with a crunchy exterior. That's a bitter bone. We got up from a, uh, a nap. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so as we're walking down the street, we said, hey, there's a boat cruise leaving in like two minutes. Yeah, and, and I know there's a lot of tours here, and there may be some better ones, but it's leaving in two minutes. It's super convenient off of the main street. We're ready to go. 65 minutes for 50, how much euros? For uh, 22.50 per person, so 45 for both of us. 45 euros yeah, for both for of both us. us. Mm -hmm. So here we go. We're in the mood for some fries. Over here, one of the most popular places called Mannequin Peace is right here. Of course, the real Mannequin Peace is where? In Belgium. In Belgium, that, that, that little statue with mm -hmm. a little, little boy's peen. But hopefully, uh, we're gonna try this one out, see how it is. We got our papas fritas. <laughs> we got our Belgian fries. Yes, here they are right here. Mannequin you got the special, which the is special. included they what? They had 
a special that means uh, curry with onions or the other special is with ketchup both with mayo and onions so we yeah. got the ketchup mayo and onions and the ketchup is completely different here than you would get it at home sorry i, I was drinking coke and i had a i had to burp hey so. enough talk let's try it out man all righty let's get that all that in there the weather looks like it's starting to sprinkle just yeah. a little bit there we go babe Oh, yeah. Very crispy. Mm. It, okay. does, it does remind me of the fries that we got in Belgium. Mm -hmm. What they do is they cook the fries and then when people order it, they double cook the fries. Yeah. Mm. Crispy. Steak fry size. It's crispy throughout. So. Yeah, very, um, I don't know, a little pillowy. Mm hmm. I know mayonnaise and french fries kind of sounds weird, it's but okay. it really isn't. When you have it here in Belgium, in, in Brussels where we were, or here in Amsterdam, this is a must get. You have to get this. Yes. Mm. And there is another um, chain called Chipsy King, mm -hmm. which, we, which we like a lot too, but we haven't mm -hmm. seen any. But since we saw this place, might as well stop. Mm -hmm. So let's go walk around, babe. Okay, babe. Here, KFC is kind of a big deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. They even have a 10 year old deal. We had a hotel provided taxi to get to our hotel, but to go back to our hotel, I mean, sorry, to go back to the airport is super easy. Go to the train tickets. I want to go to the airport. Let's go first or second class. We'll go second class. I don't know what the difference is. Um, we are traveling on Thursday. Okay. Uh, how many people? Two people. That's how much it's going to be. 11.20. And first class was like 17, right? Yeah. I don't know what the difference is, um, but it's super easy. Yeah. So this is at the uh, main central. This is uh, Amsterdam Central, and the trains are running normally. There's no hiccup in them. They're just running normally. Um, they work every single day at all the time that they were supposed to work. Yes, so just look for these yeah. yellow ticket train machines. And it's right next to the main entrance right here. And here's the train station right behind us. This is the uh, Dam Square. Yeah, this is what they call the Dam Square. This is where the palace is. There's um, mm -hmm. big churches here. Lots of really, really stunning old buildings here. Yes, and uh, really cool. over this way is a huge department store right yes. there. Mm -hmm. And forgot to tell you, the state of uh, Amsterdam now is no mask outside. Only mask for public transportation. That's it. Uh, stores, restaurants, everything else is open. Right, no mask. Mask. But we do carry one in the pocket just in case. You never know. Yep. We came across my favorite uh, Fritz place. It's called Chipsy King. It's a chain over here, so there's a lot of locations. And uh, as a side note, English is spoken just about everywhere over here. So if your Dutch is a little bit rusty, not to worry. English is good. Made it to the red light district. We did. It is it is calm. We're going to go walk down. And it is like 9 o'clock right now. It's weird. It's very light. But it doesn't get dark here until 10. Yeah, almost like, like Paris. Like Paris. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what's weird is that I say there's about 80, 90% less crowd than a few years ago. Yeah, very true. Yeah, it's, it's very... It's, a, it's, quiet in, it's uh, crowded in this area because this is like the touristy area, but there is a lot less crowd. Right yeah, now. all the restaurants that we walk by, they're almost empty. It's yeah. kind of sad. But yeah. then this country just opened up recently, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a few weeks ago, I believe. Yeah, so hopefully it's going to pick back up. Yeah, it so, will be. Again, I don't know how much we could film over here. Yeah. Um, but as, long, as long as there's no women in the window, I think we could, pretty, we could film a lot. Yeah. We'll see. We're here gonna eat Chinese food. I know we're in Amsterdam, but 
this is like the best Chinese food that we've tasted, which is kind of weird in Amsterdam. So we're gonna eat right here. So let's hope it's gonna be the same. Yeah. It's right here. It's called Golden Chopsticks. Pork with black bean. I'm just gonna get some rice, but I'll try the pork with black bean first. This is off it's menu. Like, you kind of ordered this custom. Yeah. They know how to treat the customers. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. I got uh, sweet and sour pork. Yeah. It's my favorite. But try this out. Yeah. These are just made. Perfect amount of black bean. I just need to scoop up some rice with this. Yeah. This is. Rice. <clears throat> you know, in Amsterdam, this is some legit Chinese food. Some of these places here, or some of these dishes here, because we've been here before, are better than the ones you can get in LA and sometimes in in uh, Vegas too. So this is pretty legit. So if you're gonna come to Amsterdam, I recommend the Chinese food. Yes. My favorite, had to order it no matter where I go. Sweet and sour pork. Got some on my plate already. Let's give it a try. It's not as red as what you get in the States, but the flavor is exactly the same with less food coloring, which I'm guessing that's what all it is. Pork pieces, nice and moist. Crunchy? Yeah, nice and crunchy. You got bell peppers, onion, pineapple. Everything, everything sweet and sour has. A little bit of, little bit of rice. Mm -hmm. Pretty legit, haven't it? Oh yeah, look. we're eating like a like an outdoor cafe. Mm -hmm. So Chinese food was excellent. Excellent. Great. Yeah. Even the people that work there, they're a hoot. He's Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking. He is a hoot. Yeah. It's a lot of fun place. Very, very family feeling, huh, baby? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So now uh, we're going to continue back on with the Red Light District tour. Mm -hmm. Uh, the museum is closed, but that's one museum we probably we're not going to visit. No, we can't, baby. As long as I work for the airlines, uh, yes, yeah, no not visiting. a good place. Yep, yeah, it is. Off limits. Off limits. Off limits. <laughs> Now it's not very busy. He'll give you a little a little view of the sidewalk, but I remember these sidewalks being packed the last yeah. time we were here. Especially so. at around 10 p.m. right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's usually crowded. Yes. Almost yes. like the Vegas Strip on the weekend. Yes. So let's, let's go walk around and see what's going on. Yep. This is one of the many alleyways. Everywhere mm -hmm. where you see like a red lights over there mm -hmm. there's all the girls that are in the window mm -hmm. obviously we can't film over there no we will get shot by them so. <laughs> yeah but they're pretty much just in either uh lingerie or bikini mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just very friendly waving at everybody waving at everybody yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah this is how they make their money that's it mm -hmm. probably one of the most famous peep show yeah sex peep shows right there uh Cap what is it Casa rosa rosa, Casa rosa. Mm -hmm. it's with the pink elephant neon yeah. elephant yeah uh, we went here, what, the last time? Yeah, I think so. Well, the first Inside. time we were in Amsterdam, about mm -hmm. three, almost three years ago. Mm -hmm. Place is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's just, it's interesting. Um, if you can, um, if you're curious, it costs like 50 or 60 euros yeah, per, per person, person to get but in. I remember it included two, uh, two, two beers drinks, or two drinks. Two drinks. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. Yeah. It's open mind. Come with yeah, open mind, and it, it's interesting. It's not yeah. sleazy, it's more of a top entertainment. It I is. Think. This is the entertainment here for the red light district, but it, but yeah. I even thought it was interesting. Yeah, there's there's a few clubs, but this is the most popular the one with the pink elephant. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna Casa go Rosa. in on this trip, yeah, but it's just really interesting. It is, yeah. we'll, we'll keep it at that. <laughs> Next to the old church, right near the red light district, is this like figurine that's in the ground that it's actually I think supposedly to celebrate the red not celebrate but to pay homage to the red light district or something like that I read the story about it and I completely forgot but it's something like that uh, yeah it's one of my favorite brass statues it's the, there's the old church and the red light is that direction and here's a little statue it's called art look it up This, this is the original Bulldog, which is the coffee shop. Um, last time we came, there was only like a few locations, and now they have like 
four or five down this block, one block away from the red light district. Yeah. You're into, uh, you know, a little bit of smoking at the Bulldog cafes. After you're done and you got the munchies, nothing fills it better than hot dog chicken. It just sounds delicious. Of course, they got crepes, churros, macarons, everything. Actually, it looks like a pretty good dessert place. Yeah. We haven't had this since we were in Brussels. This is like the best. Yes. Oh, delicious. It's it's a uh, chocolate. Yeah, it's good hot or cold. Yep, it tastes really good hot, but it tastes just the same cold. I'm so glad we found it in a can here. And we got a strawberry and sugar crepe. Let's see, nice and hot. It is fresh. Yeah. Here. This is that dessert place we just shot. Mm -hmm. This one guy worked making it. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. He made everything. Mm. Very fresh, very delicious. Doesn't need anything else but the strawberry and the sugar. Delicious. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're at a little cafe, which is just connected to the rest, to a hotel mm -hmm. that we're staying at. Yeah. And we're starting out with some double espressos. Yeah, we need it for today. Yes, yeah. it's cool because they also give you some cookies with it. Thank you. Yeah. What we love about European cities is that when you order espresso, coffee, or anything like that, they usually give you a cookie with it. So we got these cookies. These are the same ones they serve on Delta. The Lotus cookies. Let's take this one out. Very good cookies. Mm -hmm. They're under another like brand spice, name too, Spice right? cookie. Under another Biscoff. brand name. Yeah, Biscoff cookies. Mm. Very good. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Nice and smooth espresso. This is gonna have a lot of caffeine. We need it because we have a lot of stuff time for it today. That was good. Yes, can beat a nice big mug of a double espresso. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to feel pumped up now. Ready sure. to go. Sure. <laughs> so we're gonna wrap this up for this uh, video. Yep. Um, Stay tuned for part two because we have a lot of stuff planned for the rest of the day. We do, we do. Yeah, our video, because you know, we don't like really long videos. No, it's super long. Uh-huh, yeah, we did a lot of stuff yesterday. We did, so, we did. So, uh, you're gonna enjoy that video and then we're gonna see what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be, it's gonna be just adventurous today. Maybe if they're watching the ending of this video, they've already seen it. Oh, that's true, huh? Sorry, never mind. Stay tuned for part two. Yeah. Until then, we'll catch you guys in the next one.